Well, it's a pretty nice day. You can see it's a high of 60 to 66 today. Northwest 7 to 14. But tomorrow it says heavy rain and thunderstorms. So we might get in a spin after the oil change. I got a guy who just called me and said he's bringing over a lawnmower blade today to get sharpened. That's only knives I know anything about, or blades, I should say. Yesterday, Slippery547 replied to my post. It says, unscrew the stainless steel doodad. Well, here it is. I unscrewed it. And inside, there's a message. A memory, shy dog memory. I guess it's some kind of dog memory thing. He wore it around his neck, or maybe it's like a cremation tag. They throwed it in the water in the dog's memory or something. Maybe he liked that part of the beach. I don't know. I can't get the damn thing open now. Get stand by. Interesting. I put some pictures in there so you can figure it out better. Thank you, Slide Dog 547. Well, the knives came in. Remember, I told you, the lady from Pennsylvania was sending me some knives she found in the trash can? Some Henkel Internationals. They just came in. It's 115. Let's see what they look like. Looks like nasty dishwasher stains all over them to me. I don't think it's rust or I mean it's rust, but it's just from the dishwasher. That's why the blades are chipped too. This one's got more chips in it than the other one. You can see the uh, dishwasher soap attacks the rivets first, since that's the softest part of the knife. But it doesn't it hadn't been too bad on these this set, nor the big one. But they should clean up fine. I'll have to do it later on those. Hanko Internationals from Spain. Okay. Well, we're off. It's 138. The tide is low, uh, I think about an hour and a half. I got a few knives in the truck to drop off to one of my exchange, restaurant exchanges. Some of them are starting to call. So I think I'm going to go to Great Matter City. That's not far away. Maybe I'll get to dig something. I didn't dig much the last two days. Might be Great Matter, but you know what they say. What is Great Matter has a yellow metal. But it's a nice day. It's a high 50s. They claim it might be 60 or so in about an hour. That would be about 2.30 or so. But it ain't bad now. I got Bermudas on and flip-flops today. Stand by. Gray Matter City. Low tide. That beach looks good from here. I got the uh, six inch new T-Rex, AKA Franken-Rex. I stuck the handle back in it today.
Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't see no looters down here. Three, five, thirteen. Ain't no telling what that's gonna be. But I know what it could be. Round and obnoxious. Now it's gone away. That helps a little bit. Stand by. Let's see what we can dig some more. Well, I made six passes straight up and down from the beach. I found one top of an old rusty turnbuckle. Looks good down that way, but it looks good everywhere. I'm going to go. I'm going to go that way a little bit further. Or should I go that way? Ah! Fourteen solid. Looks like a full tab to me. Full tab Zilla. One never knows. What a 14 could be. Fourteen again. Looks like a penny to me. I don't think it could be a penny to copper looking. It's a cruddy penny. I mean cruddy too. That side looks pretty good, doesn't it? Look at that side. Fine ticket. Well, right there was a penny. Right here we got, look at that. A jumpy 16, 17. Not very deep. That's part of it, whatever that is, that's part of it. That's a big chunk of aluminum crap. And there's the other piece of it. Okay. Beach clean it again. I like 60 degrees. Makes for a nice day at the beach. A lot of grass in the wash there. Right in the break off here. Well, I may have discovered the Grave Matter Graveyard. I figured it was up here, about mid-beach. There's a first Grave Matter. And I'm pretty sure there's at least three or four more right in that little circle right there. The question is, am I going to dig them all? I don't know. Stand by. There's the first one. That hole right there. Had, had a three in it. No, 
It had three in it. She just kicked them all out. Look at that. I told you it was a gray matter graveyard. Nice fat gray matter. But I don't want nine pounds of gray matter. <laughs> Ah, let's dig a couple more right here while we're having fun. There's at least two or three right here. That's about three foot away, maybe two. I'll get back to you. Well, that one had two. A small pencil looking one and a fishing weight. I mean, a net goes on a net rope. Ray Matter Graveyard. One there. One there. <laughs> Gray Matter. One there. Uh-oh. Let's be a big one here. That's right outside the circle. Well, let's see how many we get out of this hole. I think there's one or two in here. Big fat one there. Act like it's something odd here. That one there had a Whatever that is, it's got a lot of iron around it. That's some kind of bait head. That's just a wire, same as wire. It probably came off of here. Couple more in that sounds like the same hole. Fishing weights. I've already dug three out of this one hole. <laughs> well, something happened to the GoPro while I was on the beach. Let me see if I can get it to duplicate it. It comes on and then it says SD card full. So halfway through the video or the beach hunt, it, that's what happened to it. Then it beeps and shuts off. I don't know how it can be full. I emptied it last night. I'm going to empty it now and reboot it to see what happens. Okay, I copied them. There's only 18 videos on that card. And sometimes I have 25 or 30, so I know the card's not full in that respect. We're going to reboot it. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Reformat it now. Well, seems to be working okay right this minute. After reformatting, 
We'll see how it goes. Well, I don't recommend anybody buying this scoop for damp sand hunting or in the water's edge where sand would get on top of it. It would probably be okay for the dry sand. It would probably be excellent for hunting in the water all the time. But it still catches a lot of sand right through there around these edges and holes it even with those holes if you're in the damp sand and the water gets to the scoop but in the water it works great that's all I got to say about that while I was coming home I had two phone calls two of my restaurant exchanges are getting nervous they want to get their knives ready to go so I picked up some from one restaurant and picked up a gang from another restaurant That's the best of it. That was the first target. And it got a big old nut. There's that fine penny I found. Okay. Tomorrow sounds like rain all day. We'll have to see how it goes. I might have found some bling. I didn't realize it. Looks like a earring. But what do I know? It looks just looks like an earring. It would hang like that, right? <laughs>